Affective computing is an area that started about 20 years ago. It was focused on understanding emotions expressed via speech, via written text uh, in videos. It's an area basically where computers start to understand emotions. What we do is actually we analyze emotions and behaviors in speech. Things like, you know, if you're happy, angry, sad, uh, how excited you are. Science is one of the coolest things that's ever happened to mankind. It's I hate not, science, Seth. It's not okay. Seth, I'm telling you the truth about this. I mean, I don't, I hate, you, you know, don't I hate to, disappoint you. Don't you don't have to like it, but you can't deny no, I don't that deny it works. I don't science. Right? So it's not okay to start conflating things that are based on science versus things that are not. Correct. Okay. Thank you. By analyzing data uh, from call centers, we have been able to boost revenue by up to 10% using these technologies. For example, when a customer calls in, what we do is that we identify the emotion and correlate it with what is being said. So find kind of the root cause of the dissatisfaction of the customer. And all this information gets aggregated and the company can take action and improve the customer relationship. In healthcare, it's easy using these technologies to understand the onset of certain mental illnesses. In an assisted living situation, you can determine early signs of depression. So all this information can be processed automatically and can be sent to a nurse or a doctor to evaluate. In a recent study at the University of Southern California, my colleagues analyzed about 100 hours of couple therapy data. The machine was able to accurately predict blame patterns. You can imagine the future being able to record what's going on in your home and have the machine predict the health of your relationship. 20 years from today, you can imagine the machine be in sync with you in an emotional level, detecting that you're in a bad mood and trying to actually make your mood better by playing the appropriate music, getting you in touch with your friends, or even having a deep conversation with you about those feelings. Mm -hmm.